This is a terrifying moment that shows Ukrainian Azov, special forces Kamikaze drones, hunting down Russian soldiers and blasting them on the front line with extreme precision. Some of the videos shared showed how many Ukrainian kamikaze drones brutally impaled their targets and attacked them, wiping out entire Russian frontline soldiers, who roamed the battlefield without any protection. In the video, you can also see how the enemy tried to escape from the kamikaze drone, but once again, all attempts to escape were in vain. Everyone was knocked out in seconds. Another video also shows how Ukrainian FVV drones hunt down Russian infantry soldiers and destroy them on the front lines. In the video, you can see how a Ukrainian FVV drone carries out a combat attack to defeat the enemy. It tries to approach the Russian invaders there who are trying to escape or hide from the drone among their destroyed equipment. However, video footage shows that Russia was not very successful in this regard and Ukrainian drones attacked or exploded nearby resulting in at least serious injuries to soldiers. Ukrainian special forces said they had eliminated five Russian soldiers and wounded four others in the region. In addition, with the help of FPV drones, SSO soldiers also managed to destroy a Russian 82mm mortar position and damage three enemy BMPs in the same area. This was also one of the rare moments when one of the Ukrainian tanks managed to destroy three Russian tanks with a very effective precision attack. Grainy footage of tank action near Donetsk shows a Ukrainian tank hiding behind a line of trees brutally attacking several Russian tanks, at least two of which caught fire and Russian troops were forced to flee in fear. According to sources, Ukrainian forces attacked three enemy tanks within 15 minutes. Although other sources do not support this story, the Ukrainian 53rd Mechanized Brigade has posted the video on their official Telegram channel. Video of another brutal attack shared by Ukraine's armed forces also showed Ukrainian troops blowing up a Russian tank with a kamikaze drone near Avdivka. The footage shows the Ukrainian drone aiming at its target and hitting it, causing a large explosion. The video was obtained along with a statement that read, Spectacular destruction of enemy armored vehicles by Ukrainian army units using FVV drones in the Avdivka sector. Success lies not in the method of delivering warheads or ammunition, but in the skill of our operators. Work of the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade, named after Yakov Hanjiuk. Over the past day, there were 60 clashes on the front line. The Ukrainian armed forces managed to repel 10 enemy attacks in the direction of Avdivka. At the same time, Russia has lost 640 troops, 11 tanks, 25 armored fighting vehicles, and 22 artillery systems, according to the trusted Ukrainian media outlet Espresso. Meanwhile, although the country's defense sector has undergone an impressive transformation, according to experts, Ukraine has no chance of defeating Russia without massive support from the West. Ukraine needs all means to expel Russia from its territory. One bright spot is the small but thriving defense industry, which the government in Kyiv is flooding with money in the hope that homemade weapons and ammunition can help turn the tide. These efforts have increased sharply over the past year as America and Europe have struggled to deliver weapons and other aid to Ukraine, which faces Russia's much larger military might and is backed by a rapidly growing domestic defense industry. The Ukrainian government is budgeting nearly 1.4 billion dollars, 1.29 billion euros, in 2024 to purchase and develop weapons domestically, 20 times more than before Russia's full-scale invasion. And in another big change, most weapons are now purchased from privately owned factories, 
They sprung up across the country and quickly took over industries that state-owned companies had dominated. A privately owned mortar factory launched in western Ukraine last year produces about 20,000 rounds a month. But like many aspects of Ukraine's war apparatus, its defense sector is hampered by a lack of money and manpower, and according to executives and generals, too much government bureaucracy. A stronger private sector could help eliminate inefficiencies and allow factories to produce guns and ammunition more quickly. The stakes are very high. Russia controls nearly a quarter of Ukraine's territory. It has gained momentum along its 1,000-kilometer front by showing a willingness to deploy large numbers of troops to make even the slightest advance. Ukrainian troops were often outnumbered and outgunned, and this contributed to lower morale. Ukraine's surge in military spending comes as $60 billion in U.S. aid is being withheld by Congress and European countries are struggling to provide enough ammunition. While the transformation of Ukraine's defense sector is impressive, the country has no chance of defeating Russia without massive support from the West, said Trevor Taylor, a research fellow at the Royal United Services Institute, a London-based think tank. Russia is also pouring more money into its defense industry, whose growth has helped shore up its economy from the impact of Western sanctions. Defense Minister Sergei Shoig recently boasted of major increases in the production of tanks, drones, and ammunition. However, domestic weapons factories face a variety of challenges, from meeting the changing needs of battlefield commanders to their vulnerability to attacks by Russian long-range missiles. Russia's war in Ukraine is not a fight over which drones or missiles are better, said Sergei Pashinsky, head of the Trade Group National Association of Ukrainian Defense Industries. We are fighting only two resources with Russia, manpower and money, he said. And if we learn to use these two basic resources, we will win. Otherwise, we will be in big trouble.